Hello and welcome back to this new episode in which we'll be introducing the delete action. So back to the UI kit buttons here, I will get these two buttons, the primary and the danger. And here I would like to add a new TD. This will become action. And here it will be pasting a couple of buttons. Let's check how things will look like now. Pretty cool. These buttons for now do nothing other than shining up like star. So let's do a, go ahead and change them to an anchor. Um, hopefully we won't lose any styling. Yes, except the colors. It's not a big deal. href equals to what? So, so here we'll be using a method called path. And if you don't know about it, you could simply do symphony or twig path. This is the syntax that we are looking for. So it's a method that accept the first param that is the name of the route. And the second params, it's an object that you can pass whatever parameters you want. And here for the path, so the primary, it will be update or view, and this one will be delete. Nice, so deleting or updating will be pointing to a path called update. So let's go back to the routes file when I did explain the utility of these keys. So here it will be a YouTube create and we can pass here the ID of the element so we can do product comment or YouTube comment ID for example and we don't need the rest and we can do the same for the delete but this time it will be delete we do not have that delete yet created so let me real quick do this delete here it will be delete and copying the name here and this will be delete and we'll be doing the same exact thing right here i hope i did not spell things wrongly we don't need all this complexity by the way all right so let's test and see if everything is fine all right so uh, enclose it yes i missed something so here open a tag one must be closed right here another one right here now if i refresh again please work nice so let me inspect these clicks what do we have here we have module slash uh, create and youtube command uh, id equals to zero and this guy is also equals to zero and if i inspect the other one all of them are zeros and here the id now if i refresh there we go so inspecting we have now an id of one if i inspect another one we have an id of three and we are good now let's go ahead and implement the delete. So now if I click, I will, I'm landed into this page, into the delete that is basically on the route point to the create action, which is not good. So let's go back to the, to the what? To the controller. And here I go ahead and duplicate this method real quick. Okay, so here to be delete. And let me update the routing real quick. So here instead of find all I will do find by and this will allow me to fetch the tube command by its ID and find by it take an array. The key will be the $ID that is passed through the URL so it will be something like uh, of type int and it will be $ID and we need also to define this in, uh, on the route so here delete slash and we'll be having a second parameter to this method with an ID. What we need to do next is to use the entity manager and I will execute the remove method, remove. So remove, it take an object and it does delete it from the database. So here we go. And finally, as always, we need to flush that's quite enough and let's return or redirect ourselves to the previous page. So we do this redirect and we need to redirect ourselves to tube list so i'll copy the name right there let's go ahead and test this out so now if i do refresh the page well nothing happened because we changed the routes and here also it's broken because it does expect the second parameter so youtuber um list i understand the risk so an exception has been thrown during some mandatory parameter are missing to generate YouTube delete. Yes, yes, I got the point. So here we are expecting an ID here. Yep, it must be in our case. 
there we go now it is working fine now if i click let's see if it will work fine so now roads for get delete when with the load delete all right so we need really to change this to get because delete cannot do that through the browser unfortunately so now if i do refresh my page an entity manager remove expect parameter one to be an entity an object given okay i think i got the point here what is the problem so here let's change this to find one by let's refresh oh the controller must return so did you forget to return statements yes it is working fine and i just simply forget to do return right there now if i do refresh expect parameter one null given all right so here we need to do if statement There we go now if i do refresh i will get redirected back to the listing page so argument passed delete action must be one of the type string in cold oh yeah i got the point so the, my redirection is not okay um let's do the following so this become something like this youtube array and we don't define this state or anything else let's see if i can delete this oh no sense okay there we go it is working let's delete also this one pretty cool now real quick the bonus of this episode i'd like to add a flash message as a kind of success message saying that everything went well so here i will do um a flash message so again i just want to show you like you do everything through google it's simple right so here um what is flash messages it's very simple to do to define so all you need to do here is do this so uh copy this and if everything went well you could define your notice or success here and inside your template you need to do something like this so inside where you want to display a message you can do something like this now if i move back and i do refresh my page i will see nothing because i have no message for now so now if i click delete there we go command deleted successfully all right so that was a bit of a messy a bit episode hopefully you get the point from it in the next episode we'll be introducing the update method so thank you for watching and see you in the next one